where they are, then we removed them back down there, then we moved them back when I came in. Call this Mingo I came fiscal court to order on this 28th day of May 2024 at 5 p.m. Um, I'm going to ask Mayor Wright to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, please be with everybody over the weekend here as the devastating times. Please be with the leaders here in Ohio County. Please forgive us of our sins and we are going to get through everything that we encounter together. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Uh, since we're here, let's go ahead and address this uh, grant. Uh, we need a motion to allow the uh, uh, application to go forward and for me to sign the uh, paperwork. I'd like to make a motion to accept the, uh, the process of acquiring a grant for the walking trail at the Ohio County Park. I'll second this motion to allow the grant process. And can you add the other one in there too, Mike? Uh, and if we can do that, yeah. I'd like to add the uh, football field uh, project as well. We have a motion to set. Any more discussion? Bring them on favor say aye. Aye. Folks like to say Motion um, passed. Next you have before you the uh, May 14th uh, meeting uh, minutes. I need a motion to approve. Motion. motion by both Bennett. Second. Second by Jackson Bullock. Uh, is there any discussion, correction, or additions? I got a question. Yes. Why can I not get the minutes when I pick up my packet the Friday before the court meeting? You well, can, I guess it's just not printed. Yeah, usually, but Miranda was out that day. I, this is the third time. I mean, I tried to, I've asked for them. I like to get them on Friday, get everything, bills, claims. Well, they're usually done two days, at the latest, two days after our fiscal court meeting. So they are always available. Well, let's try to get them printed. But I pick it up for me, and I, I just yeah. like to go over, you know, we're, Got a pretty good size. What, $24 million budget, Judge, we deal with? Almost 25, yes. And I like to have the bills and claims and minutes and everything go over with the weekend before so I know what we're uh, voting on. Well, we'll take, we'll try our best to get that down. Okay. We'll go with the other five. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Folks, like to sign, the, the minutes are passed. Next, you have before you the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. We'll need a motion to approve that. Sorry, no, no late, no late, Liz. No, no, super. I'd like to make a motion to pass the bills and claims transfers. Second this motion. Motion by Michael, second by Jason. You got it. Uh, any discussion? I got some questions. Okay. What is this? Uh, We pay out of the uh, sheriff payroll into the phone and out of golf payroll into the are you into, talking about the transfers yeah 15,000 uh, on the golf payroll um, previously the golf course the mowing that was done it was not budgeted they were using park mowers and that had to be addressed to allow for the mowing at the golf course. How can you take it out of the sheriff's payroll window? Well, it's not taken out of the sheriff's. The golf it's course labor was taken out of general fund reserves. Yeah, but it says once your uh, sheriff office phone from payroll. Well, the sheriff's, still got the sheriff's office took several of their accounts and moved money that they had left into law enforcement supplies uh, in order to purchase some things towards the end of the year. But we've still got 34 more days in this budget. Do you still have enough money to, in the sheriff's payroll budget to pay the bills? Yes, in the payroll. Uh -huh. 
And, uh, but they didn't take anything out of payroll, the sheriff. Says so, says out of sheriff's payroll in the phone. Which page is this? What, what page it's is on uh, page one or two of the okay. transfer. What's the dollar amount? That's what? What's the dollar amount? Okay, I see. They, you're right. You're correct. They were a little bit short on their phone and they had some extra money in payroll. The $650. Okay, I see it now. It was $650. You're correct. And what is this? Uh, oh, see the golden shovel. Um, That's their internet. It's a website. No. It's a website. 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 $5,600? I believe it's $300 a month, and we just got several months of bills at once. Okay. <coughs> There's one thing we could cut back on. That's all Does that come out of their budget? Why, yeah. why is it? I mean, I can't remember that. I'm trying to remember. Why is it that high? Uh, that's the and I remember Jody came and addressed yeah. us on that. Yes, that's she not did. a question for me. That's she me. did. We could ask Jason to come and tell us again. Yeah. But it's something they said they have to have. And they did shop and see if they could find a different thing that was cheaper. Does it have something to do with because of all the other capabilities in that in that building? I don't know. I'll check with, I'll talk to yeah. Jason. It's not the internet. It's the, no, it's website. the website. Itself. Yeah. It's the think, security you know, camera They're system. working on changing. The website, yeah. Okay. It, I think it's to where if a business wanted to Google something, it's going to pull it to that pull, site. Yeah. Okay. It, it has it has the capability of anything that you pull up, you can literally punch a button and make a report, like all the different things. I yeah. I've, I've it, just seen it, it. It also takes care of monitoring the traffic and yeah. where the traffic's yeah. from it's for potential uh, economic. Yeah. What's the thirty-five hundred for? Uh, Alibi security camera. Uh, what page are you on? Page two of eight. Okay. Down to the bottom. That's for Oceda. They had security cameras put in. Over the hood. Shouldn't they get that cleared before? They put something in that, that expensive. Well, if it fits their budget, they usually don't. If it's already approved in their budget. I think we've been through this before. Let them wait till the last end of the term before the budget goes out, which is 33 days, and then they spend all their money. We've discussed that before. That's all I have. Any other questions or uh, discussion? Being that I'll say aye. 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 Post box sign. The bills are paid. Um, we have, I think, is this the first reading of this ordinance, right? It is. A first reading of ordinance 2024 6 to the administrative code. Jason, since you're on the committee, I guess you should make a motion. There's several different, several different things we've taken, put in and taken out of the administrative code. You can get a copy at, on our website, on the, at the office, is it on the website? It's on the website. It's on the website, so if somebody really wants to, if you look at it, the yellow passed out is what was taken out. I guess um, highlights because there's several things but if you want a copy of it you're more than welcome to get a copy on the line or come by the office and get it and we gave some gave a copy to the media but the longevity uh, incentive program is it used to be five years 500 10 years thousand we removed all that and then we went with back on the back five years you get a quarter an hour raise at 10 years it bumps the the quarter plus another quarter, which is fifty cents hour. So every five years, you get a you get a bump in raise. Do they have to start over, or do they go? Back? No, you just like it's twenty five, and then you keep that twenty five, and then you get the next twenty every year until it builds up to the end, and it ends up being like 
an additional dollar seventy five dollar seventy five an hour. You know, there's plus and minus. You can get the the lump sum, but you get taxed all at one time, or you could get this. And if you figure it out, doesn't it come to about you're, fifty dollars more or something? You're basically like? getting it every year instead you're, of just once on year five. Yeah. And once on year ten, you're getting it every every paycheck for five years. Mm -hmm. So we've just changed the longevity way with that and with the step up hourly increase and it is a quarter every five years. So um, and that helps retain employees mm -hmm. for the And that's in addition to any other yeah. Yes, yeah, if you get additional to the one percent or whatever we like three and a four was it three point four this year or whatever it is, you still get that on top of the so um, make a motion how about on the uh, part-time, if they get 23 hours or more a week, do they get benefits now? Yes. Yes. Is that right? That's right. 24. 24. And this puts us in line with state, mm -hmm. uh, the way the state does their health insurance and everything. And that's on page 41, yeah. yeah. So you go ahead and put that in motion, Jason, and we'll see if there's any other suggestions. I would just, I would like to make a motion to accept, um, the, or for the first reading, the past the first reading of administrative code changes, uh, I don't know how you, because there's like four of them in the office. Ashley's got a minute, but Ashley's yeah. Okay. Uh, as presented at the court, uh, I would like to pass administrative uh, code changes on um, pages. Yeah, pages 25, 29, 39, and 41. I'll second it. Yeah, it's a lot of, like I said, if you want to see a copy of it, you can pick up a copy of the, but those were the highlights. Any further discussion? Yeah, just to make sure on the 24 hours, that would be the court's decision to hire someone at that. Someone just can't start working 24 hours and getting benefits. Yeah. They have to be, be hired, hired in at that. at that. So that is up to you all, you know, whether you... So basically we can hire an employee at 24 hours and they get received benefits or we took out the $500 one time, 1000 and we just exchanged it with a quarter increase every every year. Yeah, if five, technically, five years. They're, if technically they're full time but not scheduled to work but, but much, many fewer hours. And before we weren't allowed to do that, this would allow you to hire a full time person and only work them when they get all the benefits, but you'd only work them less than they have to be scheduled for 24, correct? Yes. yes. They have to be hired in that way. Yeah. So, yeah, if they're hired in that way, but they don't necessarily have to get to 24, that would be, you know, is that right? If they have a week where they, can they offset those two weeks? No. They, no they okay, I didn't know. Or more. You have to be working 24 hours a week. Okay. I didn't know if you could do like 15 and, you know, offset them like every other. That's on part time. Okay. So that's when they get hard in, correct? Mm -hmm. right? That's when they're hard in. We don't currently have anyone that this would fit, um, but it does, we, we had an instance that it might, and it, it aligns us with the state health insurance rules. Let's get real call right? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Um, we, yes. we have the sheriff's uh, uh, first quarterly report. At this time, it, it won't be audited, so we just got to show who got it. It's the knowledge that we received the sheriff's uh, first quarterly report. Most with Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Any discussion? Not on the first act? Opposed like that? Okay. Uh, we don't have any personnel, do we? Which is always on the We don't have a closed session. So we're ready for committee reports. Well, no, let me let me do the other uh, thing first. Let me do the Board of Assessment and Appeals. Uh, I'm uh, uh, Arthur and Bess have told me that uh, we don't have uh, anybody in the position. We've got to have fill a uh, spot there. And we want to point Jason Chen to the Board of Assessment and Appeals. So just roll call it. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes.
Okay, now we're back to committee reports, and I know that the uh, jail committee has met, so uh, turn it over to you, Michael. All right, so in the past uh, couple of couple months, uh, there's been an issue at the jail where we're meeting to make a decision on whether or not we're going to keep the television service that they have and or change that service. The jail committee has made the recommendation in uh, agreement with Landon Spurlock that we actually change the service, um, which would be a savings uh, on the new bids of about $50 per month after the installation. The installation costs will be covered by the jail through commissary, and then this would uh, then affect his upcoming budget. Uh, in the meantime, I believe he thinks that he can take care of the transition. Um, so the bids came in at $284 per month with boxes in the sales, which the current uh, service does not require boxes to be in the sales, which could be um, a liability for uh, the inmates to have another thing in the, in the sale to possibly harm someone with. Uh, the other bid would come in $230 per month. That would be no boxes in the sale, but the service would be changed from what we're currently using. So it's uh, my recommendation that we go ahead and go with what the jail committee has uh, recommended and Landon has also agreed to going with uh, uh, Dish Network for $230 per month. And these are non, these are four tax figures that I've given, um, but there is a savings of $54 off the current service and the, the new bid from that service. Sounds good. Is that a motion? Uh, if I need to make a motion, that's a motion. Let's, let's uh, do it. Do I hear okay. a second? Second. Second by Mark Murphy. And just to be clear, uh, that this is considered part of the recreational requirements of the, the state. Mm -hmm. We don't have an outside rec uh, all the time, so this puts us in line with uh, the criteria of the state recommendations for recreation. Sounds good. Uh, any further discussion? Being now, I'll fix it. Aye. All opposed, like sign. That motion carried. Uh, does any has any other committees met? Have we had any other committees to meet during this last two you want to, on those, what happened today, you know, because our CETA was talking about that one thing on the project. Do you want to explain that or just, you know, might do that later? Uh, we're expecting a letter from OC okay. that, and I'll present it. Okay, before. we'll just wait on that later then. Yeah. Um, we're talking about OC that's going to be sending us a letter that will change the job description requirements of the OC the director. But we'll get that later and I'll bring it in here and show it to everybody. When that, what they voted on. Is it going to be any more salary or anything about? No. Doesn't change anything on there. Um, but if no other committees have met, let's go ahead and pull the magistrates. Let's start with you this time, Larry. With me? Uh -huh. um, of course, I've done read it once, but there's some people here from the uh, Chickabee area. I'd like to read this letter we got from uh, Miss Bickers okay. concerning the water project. And it was, this was after you had called her when we was in your office. Yes. It says, good afternoon, Judge Johnson. To recap our conversation on the phone, this project was funded from the Cleaner Water <coughs> Underserved Rural Consent to Curry Pool. Projects for this funding were submitted and ranked. We do not reallocate the underserved funds. If additional funding is needed to complete your project, please contact me with the shortfall to see if we are able to provide the additional funding. This goal is for everyone to have access to clean water. Let me know if you have any questions. Julie Bickers, yes. Kentucky Interfractual Authority. Uh, and we have true. some people from the uh, okay. Chickerville area. You yeah. won't let them speak now. Mr. Barnes, Mr. 
uh, and Mr. Uh, Brown and uh, and he. Why are you not setting up Larry for him? <laughs> okay, I talked to David Larry Saturday about uh, what you want to call it, a grant donation for our BFW post out here, the American Legion post, and I wonder if we get you know some donations to help us pay our you know our expenses. Plus, I forgot to tell you that we give scholarship funds to students in Ohio County every year. For I forget how many years we've done it, and it's just not penny pennies either, thousand dollars a piece. And sometimes it goes high as seven, six or seven people a year for donation for a scholarship. It comes out of our funds, and uh, we kind of like to get some help back. How much? How much do you think you're uh, you're asking for? Just whatever we can get. Uh, they uh. They do a good service. Oh, they got, I have a lot of respect for that honor guard in the BMW. They're very important. It's the best honor guard around. I mean, very, very important, important organization. Like, you know, we'll pay our utilities mm -hmm. and they'll keep the upkeep of the building. If anything goes wrong with it, we fix it. Our vans, insurance, our expensive gas, traveling to funerals and back. Plus, we buy, our, uh, buy uniforms, which is about six. So seven hundred dollars a set. I two pair a pair of pants, two shirts, and a jacket, and a kerosene. Uh, your what I call a cunt cap. Your cap. Uh, it takes it takes it, it, it takes quite a bit to keep things running. Uh, gentlemen, I think maybe what we could look at is for short term, give them some a little discretionary money, and then maybe look at it from this new fund that we. With that, uh, we set up Michael for the things and we could look at it again that first of the year from that. I, I believe that'd be a good idea. So uh, our, our upcoming budget's not going to reflect this, but if you remember we talked, Larry and Bo, Jason, we talked about taking our discretionary monies and, and moving that into a, a, a set fund for things no, like I'm this. Not that that. I'm not going to be that for re that. That are reoccurring? No. I'm and, not for uh, that. I think each district ought to get their own discretionary money. Well, that there, you, well, we're, we wouldn't it wouldn't affect our discretionary money. You would still get it. We you would still get all your discretionary money. But rather than rather than things events. rather things like this this community outreach that we're doing, instead of us taking our discretionary and all of us two two hundred dollars at every time we turn around. I mean, we're we're doing this every every so often. Let's let's take that out of reserve and set the. The criteria for what we're we all are there on what we're all gifted. That. So at this time, I mean, I would my discretionary. I mean, I know where I sit right now uh, personally. I, I'd like I'd like to reach out and give give five hundred dollars to this cause because I've been on the court for many. I mean, four years prior, and I don't know that we yeah. that we've done this in the past. Okay. For me, that one. Uh, it so I'd like to give five hundred dollars myself. If yeah. anyone else get bows in, I'm in. Are you in? I'm in. Okay. That would, can That's we, uh, 500. Can we just talk to 5 5 to 25. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, five, that'd be 5 times uh, 5 would be 2,500. And so I guess we need a motion to do it that way. From I make a motion. Motion to learn. Motion. I'd like to second the motion. Thank you, Appreciate it. Boy. Appreciate it. I think the discretionary money is very important for areas like mine and especially mine and Bo's. I have three fire departments and three parks and he has about the same. And uh, there's some pro fire department. That's where most of my money goes to. Okay, did we vote on that? We did, didn't we? We did. Yeah, and we're gonna authorize Ann to write that check. Yes, please. That goes to VFW or American Legion. And allow Ann to write the check in that motion. Yes. But in the memo section, make sure it says for the uh, underguard. And go to P.O. Box 134, Harper. And I again second that motion. Okay. Do we need a roll call? Or do we uh, just... We vote. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Judge, okay. do you want to let the checker bill? Yes. Yeah. Speak or absolutely. wait till... No, absolutely. If they want to say something on it. And... <coughs> I'd be glad to. Kenny? We're down to citizens' comments anyway. Kenny? Yes? You want to say anything? 
Well, what's going on? We're to stand hey, still if you're asking there. about the uh, right, rubber project. Right now we're standing still, but I believe we're going to work it out. We've got another year extension on it. But basically this court voted unanimously to apply for the grant and get the money. And we voted unanimously to tell the water district to do it and that we'd give them a little money for flushing out there because they was worried about it. And they still voted not to do it. So, and then... Uh, Judge Matt, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but didn't the prior court vote to do the grant? To both. Yeah, both of us have. Okay. Well, if it's paid for, what's their objection? They think that even though it's government, even though it's federal money, they can only be used for that. That's the only thing to be used for is put that water line in. They still think it's too much money to spend on, even though it's not their money. Then they come up with the argument about the flushing. So we gave them, offered to give them money for flushing. So that should have raised that. So we're back in their court, but we're not going to let it rest. There may be a way the court can do it ourselves. It might die for a lack of a second, but I want to make a motion that we've already got just 800 and some thousand dollars for us to go on and spend it as far as it will go, and I think it'll do the whole job. Oh, it will do the job. And we don't have to hook it up now, but I make a motion that we go on. We uh, And Jason, you was on the first court too with me when we applied for it. And it says right in here that it can't be sent back and used for nothing else. They need more to ask for more. I make a motion we move on this and put it in and uh, well, we'll have to hire an engineer. Yeah, there's just an engineer to, process and all. I, yeah. I'm not saying that we don't that we don't move on it, but the way that we're trying we'll to, to move here, that. that's not going to be. I would like. To, well, we'd have to vote first to do this. So, uh, vote. well, we've I, already we've already voted. We voted to do it, but just, that, that's the thing is that it's not. It's it's kind of going to be a longer process than just saying let's take the money we got, and hire somebody, and go do it. Yeah. The. Uh, the question I have, and I wanted to ask it before, but now that we've, I guess we've opened this up, uh, has Ms. Becker has been made aware of the the uh, $12,000 yes. or more a year? Yes. Okay, yes. and are they looking into getting us funding for that? I mean, we, we've offered the funding through yes. other means, but... Not, have, not, at, not at this time, but she's just saying this is the only thing to be used for. As a matter of fact, uh, we... Uh, the water district looked at maybe transferring some for some other lines that we got on the list that needs to be done. And they said, no, but tell you what, we'll give you more money for those anyway. But it's in this letter from her, if additional funding is needed to complete your project, please contact me with the shortfall to see if we are able to provide the additional funding. The but goal is for everyone to have access to clean water. And so that's $800,000 for a water pipe that distance, to me, seems like a plenty. And it's through, uh, I mean, they ain't going to have to go through no rock or nothing. It's through uh, mined ground. It's just like... That, that'll still have to be uh, looked at by an engineer. It's not something that we can address. But already already my, my, I thought you all already got a bid for it. We did, but that wasn't a legitimate bid because you've got to do you got to have your engineering done first before you can advertise for the construction. And I was the guilty one on there. I just wanted to bid for the engineering and all that to be in the bid with the construction. And that wasn't a proper way. So if we do it on our own without the district, we would have to advertise for the engineering first. Which I think we're ready well, to do. Well, what do we need to do? We need to move on it. We don't need to just keep kicking it down the road. Well, back Problems to, don't solve yourself. Back to that letter, to that's why I'd ask about the shortfalls. Uh, that'd be the second time that the letter's been read, but have we made effort to talk to Ms. Bickers in regards to the $12,000 annual shortfall to the county? We have we, we have not. I'm okay. going to say well, that. I think that needs to be done before we start making motions because that's the reason why I think, for lack of other words, the, the water department, the water board, did not pass this. Was because well, no, of the cost we had of, offered to pay it for them. I understand that, but it's still costing the taxpayers either way. And I think if 
if the state's willing to put that $12,000 in a year, I think that the water board's going to look at it differently. But we need the water board on our side in order to maintain this line for years to come. For our no, we next need generation. to side, We need to work together. We need to work with them, and they need to work with us. Is it the closest point to hook up the way they've got it now? Or are they hooking it, on? It is, it is our best knowledge. It's the it only way to get the pressure to the to the site itself is from that hook oak. Where is it coming from? Well, it was the same distance anyway. Well, it's, it's the same distance, yeah, but the only way that they could get the pressure would be from that hook oak. And it's from, it's right there uh, at the church uh, in that area somewhere. Cool Spring or? Yeah, up, up and around the Cool Springs area. I don't know the exact uh, yeah. coordinate of it right now, but. Uh, somewhere just below the church, I believe. And it would also help the water pressure in your area down there in the Well, they Eccles they and, they uh, hired an engineer to test that, and they said that that wouldn't be. No, that's true. not going to happen. That's we if we looped right it. To the, that would be because well, we looked at looping. They couldn't loop it. But yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. But then that why we looked at to help yeah. the pressure there, yeah. and they, they said why why couldn't they not loop it? Well, they said that, it, we thought that would work. It, it would just be a, a waste of money, is what they said. The engineer said because there the won't be enough time. water water flow and not enough increased pressure due to the loop. Is it how long is the loop? Is it ten miles? No. Eight miles. To answer your question, the the engineer said that the loop was a good idea. Yet the time that the water would lay in the line for the distance, it would not be again suitable and or have the pressure that we were hoping to gain by going all the way around. And, and, we, and I, so I talked to, I spoke with uh, with Joe myself and and, and I thought I'd, I mean, I'd explain that to him, but I, I don't, I mean, it's not, it's just that I found that out. But uh, your we, we're wanting to do this and we're gonna keep, keep plugging them. Uh, you guys attend the water board meeting might help. Yeah. The uh, file hazards on it, though, you can put file hazards in the line, and I know that before we had files out there, you can't suck out the pits and stuff right. now. And, you know, when you have, that'd be a big help on the, they had some big files out there kind yeah. of on the bunch of stuff. Yeah. And well, that's going to be, it's going That's be been an argument of us, of ours, too. More than just us, though, in the future. The it was more than just them. Yeah. yeah. The reason I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. It's going grand they're gonna get back. They're gonna be back. Yeah. You know, and I and I, I I can speak for everybody. It's not that anybody doesn't want want anybody to have the water out there, it's just that we gotta find a viable way to do so before uh, we can get uh, I guess I'm kinda of speaking for the water board. They're looking for a viable well, option to do do so. It, how not, much more of an incentive is it if it's free? That's right. And it is I, mean, for I don't us, but understand it's not for them, because before all the answers we got was, well, there's not enough people there, and it costs too much per person. No. And that was the way they judged it. Well, now right. it doesn't matter if it's one person or fifteen; it's paid for if they right. do it. The right. service is service. paid for. The cost of providing the service will increase to the county. Taxpayers of the county, twelve thousand dollars a year. That's a minimum. To, that's a minimum, unless there were up to seventy-two wellings to be added. And I don't think that the water board thought that that was something that was a potential to happen. So therefore, they're not. So they the don't think the federal knows what they're doing and wanting to furnish water to everybody. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's everybody they that's feel the like it's economical it. for. That's the reason that the federal puts the money out. That's a yeah. question you need to ask the water board. But, that but, but I do think it, that we're close to hiring our own engineer to do it. I'll get a little more information, on, but I think we're close to doing that. I think we need to move on it. That's just my, my opinion. If the, if the mines had put, they gone ahead because they bought, got the ground. If they gone ahead and put <coughs> a, a, a underground in there, mm -hmm. would you all, y'all wouldn't have been asked the question, you had to put in water lines in them. Yes, sir. Uh, it wouldn't matter well, if you got the mines would probably run water lines. No, they don't. Yeah. If, uh, on the other stuff. It didn't matter if, uh, if uh, you got the money for the line or not. If a mine put in uh, underground, 
you all had to run the wall. Is that correct or not? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. It would happen, because, because especially with this money, because then it would be that volume used that uh, no flushing would have to be done or anything. Well, I mean, to the bathhouse, that's a rule for yeah. the bathhouse. But we've got, have to have we, bathhouse and they have to have water. But the money's there for the constructed right. and it's entirely, I have no doubt that 800 would do it. And we've been told, like Larry said, that they've already told us if you need, if it was to run over, they'd give us some more money. Yeah. Well, but that, but this fact, but, but that, but that the office needs to be made aware that this is the holdup. The holdup is the twelve thousand dollar annual cost to the to the uh, taxpayers. That's that's the number that hasn't been. I don't think it's been conveyed, and that's what the holdup. If you ask everyone on that water board, that's been the holdup. Is this potential cost for years to come without more people to service down there? And it's not that they're wanting to put more meters. It's just that there's not going to be enough meters to ever viably use that service and for it not to be a big cost to the county indefinitely yeah, and then there's some day that we've got to re we've got to put a new line in down there that's always been a problem with the whole the area and, and all the, I, I, <laughs> i'm going to say something now because my wife was talking the other day and she said what's the big picture and she said you know it wasn't about us whether we got water or not you know, because I'd let it go, in a way, because I wouldn't ask people to spend that kind of money. But one of the things that knocked me down is like that bridge over Rockport, for instance. They painted it a couple of years ago, it cost five million dollars. I bet they, I bet it didn't cost a million to build it. So what happens is you get into these situations where you don't do it today, it costs twice as much tomorrow. Yes, sir then the next day and the next day and what you've got here kentucky's a what would you call it a, a resource state they've stripped the coal they took the timber and and god help us if it wasn't for west virginia we'd be on the bottom and ohio county is kind of like that and what they have is when they mine things they you know they we had a tax and uh, one of the ideas was is that you allow for things to replace because what happened was down where I lived, if I could show you the map, it was all these little farms, just a jillion of them. And they'd all be there paying tax now if they hadn't been that the mines mined it and turned it into nothing. So what we have here is this largest area in the whole county probably left that's undeveloped and needs to be developed eventually. And um, so we've got an opportunity to, if even anything, just put the line in there for the future because, yeah. uh, well, for one thing, let's just say one big tract of land belongs to one man. And he's probably the largest land, within the 10th largest landowner in the whole United States. He's starting to sell ground out west. He might sell this ground here. Or he might develop it if he had water, yeah. you know, electric water. Those are, you know, it's like <clears throat> where I live, they didn't get electricity in 1952. Uh, so don't you think that's an important thing? Absolutely. And how things get developed? Absolutely. You know, the judge, yeah, you know what we're talking about here. Yeah. And so that's that's the big picture. You know, it, it's, it. this is, if it hadn't been for coal, let's say, this ground would already been developed a long time ago. And they just mined some other part mm -hmm. of the, of the yeah. county or whatever. And the federal government wants everybody So now we try to bring it back up, and that's the big picture. Mm -hmm. Try to bring it back to, you know, where it's something, instead of just some big old tract of land, it's yeah. worthless. Yeah. I agree, but I, I think we're ready to put, and oh, I think. What, uh, I think we're, yeah, I think we're preaching to the choir. We need to find out who we need to preach to. Also, it's a uh, sports area down there, Peabody's. Yeah. And they had a fire. You guys know more about that than we do here a couple yeah. months ago. And I'm sure the fire departments would like to have some hydrants down yeah. there to get their water. Yeah. And that would benefit. That's, well, that's what I'm saying, the, the long-term development. You know, and the big picture, the big like you said. This undeveloped area that needs to be you know, what, what would it do? What's it going to take to get it back 
you know, where it's like the rest of the county. I agree. And I think that we will, uh, I think that we will uh, uh, move on in some form and uh, maybe even we were, we're looking at the possibility of the court or an engineer and moving on with it. Yeah. Judge, how about us setting up a meeting with the water board and let's just sit down and talk about this and try to we be have, We have the floor, but we need to include the, these folks. We need I, to I think what we need to do with the water board, like we said, it's nobody appears against the water, yeah. but you're asking the water company is not a business to lose money. Yeah. They're not necessarily to make money, but they don't, they're not in the business to lose money because then they pass it on to them. We just want to see if we can find some funding to offset their loss is what we're trying to do. They're supposed to be people the services oh, provided. If that was the case, because, it, you know. That's what I said about preaching to the choir. It seems like we got you and you're positive. It's just, but what I'm saying is, is at the same time, don't let the thing go back because this is the opportunity to get money right. from some yeah. other source. We, we agree. We just don't want to force something on the water department if, if it's not good for them until we can find out a way to meet in the middle and help them. And that's what we, we're trying to find funding that way. Yeah, and we're well, not trying to be negative. So. I definitely yeah. don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but I do want, I do want to say something. I, I want you guys to have water down there, and we've got, the, we've got this grant, and, and everybody's excited. We read this letter now for the second time over a month ago, and Miss Bickers needs to know that we need that monthly stipend, so to speak. We need that monthly uh, cost that's going to be to, to offset to to make the water board feel good about it. Because we offered them the, the different, uh, we offered them what we called maintenance in our agreement, and they did not pass this to move forward with the project. That's not something we had any ability to change or to fix, even though a lot of us spoke to the water board. I support my water board member and I support the water board in their in their decision making abilities, but there again, their decisions were made on what Jason just said. They were based on that they don't want to do a project that's going to cost the taxpayers for years to come and they're going to have somewhere along the lines offset and and have that taken care of. Even though we're we're sending them the money, it's still costing the taxpayers. So the that's but, correct. So they have to get a grant for the, any project they do? Or, no. or funding. Huh? Not all of them, no. Or funding from something. Uh, our county fiscal court gives them a lot of money to extend out. Yeah. Right. Short distance. Well, we'll give a lot this of big picture, I wanted to ask, because uh, Sam brought up a bridge. I hope I know which bridge he's talking about. But uh, that road was temporary closed. Now, what is temporary? Will I live to see the end of it? Oh, you're talking about. Uh, I'm talking about one. Which bridge are you talking about? I was talking about just the bridge over the over the green bridge. Oh, you're you're talking about the bridge that's not hard to passable after well, they did the concrete. I'm close work. to it anyway. I'm talking, about the the road. Road. I'm talking about the creek and cost. I'm talking about the creek and cost of things. Yeah, in other words, Saravo Road is that? Yeah, he's asking about Saravo. Saravo. They're already moving on. Um, Do what? Already moving on trying to get it. It's going to be a while, but they're working on trying to get it back over. No, but I mean, this uh, temporary is different to closure, and the way I understood it. It was temporary. Now I know there's some water people too that got cut off because they had to lay a new line mm -hmm. to furnish that other end, right. which would put them in the same situation we're in down there. If you said no, they'd just been without water because they cut it to there in the bridge. Yeah, I, I think we're going we're to talk about it, you know, all that, but we're all saying the same thing actually. So, but let's go ahead and We'll try to set up something else with the water board, but also look and see if we can leave the go in our own uh, engineering firm. But the, what they're wanting for flushing, and me and Judge has had this conversation, we both agree, their figures and what we think it would cost to flush is a little bit high, don't you agree, Judge? Absolutely. Because they already got to make the water, they've already got their employees. 
and it don't cost what they're saying. They we already don't. have to flush it too, don't they? For the Some, water. Yes, lots of places. The end of it. But anyway, well, appreciate it. And uh, but, yes, Shirley. And before you move on, I just wanted to know what is the time frame on this because I I was confused on when. The we did get an extension. You did. Yeah. Okay. So it's right. still. December 26, is that to, correct? To get December 26 to get start, get the bid let out. Okay, thank you. Of this year? Of no. next. Uh, of not 26. 26. 26. 26, yeah. All right. Can I ask one question? He said, how many houses did you say they said make it seven to? I, I was, we were told in, and I, I wrote it down, I just, it came back to my mind. Uh, seven, 72, would need to serve 72. To, to be viable, to no, not have to be flushed. Okay, well, I, I, I was just wondering, because I know a, a lot of roads in our amp that goes down and it doesn't have anywhere next yeah, to the house. That's, right. that's, that's correct, right. but for you the length of the line so, and for the, for the amount of water, so for your water quality at the end of that line, Mr. Barnes, to be uh, suitable to drink and to suitable to bathe and, and, to, and to do daily activities with, without having a boil water advisory continuously like much as people do a lot of the times in center town because of problems and so forth you would need that many to be able to move enough water through the eight inch or the six inch line the proposed line i can't remember the size of the line but to to run that through that proposed line and for it to be six right so okay. six. That's it. That's, I, I but you have six you have to have that yep. for your fire hydrant you have, to have, yeah, you have to have six for that fire hydrant so to, to accommodate the fire hydrants and to get the water to the yeah. end to, to you, Mr. Barnes, and just, I mean, maybe someone passed you someday, but right now, to get to that point and to, to offset what we've discussed about the grant, you would need that many more meters in in line to be able to utilize the water quick enough for it to not sit there and become non-usable safely okay. by, by well, state regulations. Okay. Well, and that's the purpose of the flush. Okay. Hey, we're going to go ahead and adjourn, and uh, we're, we're, we are glad you came. And we're not uh, we're not going to forget you. We'll keep hammering, try to get this done. Larry and I are particularly di diligent, and everybody else is <coughs> on board, wanting it to happen too. So this meeting's adjourned. Don't forget, gentlemen, we're going to have it on Monday next Tuesday. The tenth, yeah, we're going to tenth instead of eleven because the men going to conference. Are you going to go?